Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is obey, then stand still. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Exodus chapter 14 and verse 13. But Moses told the people, don't be afraid, just stand still and watch the Lord rescue you today. The Egyptians you see today will never be seen again. The last day we began speaking about instructions and today I would like us to stay on that for a bit more. I received a number of comments from dear listeners who were concerned about their ability to hear God. The Bible says, and this is Jesus speaking, my sheep hear my voice. We all have capacity as believers to hear God's voice. And I believe that everyone who intentionally begins to take out time to spend with God and fellowship with him will be inducted into that realm of hearing God. God speaks in diverse ways, but having a continued flow of speaking from God is time dependent. In the natural, you know people's voices because you have spent time with them. I can identify my husband's voice easily, for instance, because I have spent so much time with him. It is the same with God. Even though I am still a major work in progress with regards to hearing God, no one can convince me that God doesn't speak to me. It is impossible. But there is no shortcut. You must be intentional. You must spend time with God and you must reflect on your encounters. Anyway, I digress. In today's episode, we hear Moses telling the people to not be afraid, but to stand still and see the salvation of God. I hear people quote this often as an encouragement to others. Stand still, they will say, and you will see the salvation of God. While that is all good and fine, we must remember that before our anchor scripture, which is verse 13, God gave an instruction. Turn back and go a certain way. The Israelites obeyed that instruction. It was on the basis of that obedience that they were qualified to stand still and see the salvation of God. My point is, with God, it isn't just about the presence of the instruction. That isn't what turns the battle in your favor. It is your obedience. If God tells you not to travel to a certain place and you decide that you will travel, but pray for God's guidance, have you obeyed? No, God's instructions require obedience to the letter. Do you remember Saul? Go to war, kill everyone. Saul went to war, killed everyone but the king and a few cattle. Ordinarily, what Saul did made sense. But because it wasn't absolute obedience, God recorded it as disobedience. It is only after your obedience is complete that you can stand still. Remember that your instruction may look nothing like your breakthrough. Kill a lamb at twilight and be delivered from 430 years of captivity. No relationship. Strike a rock and I will give you water. Shoot arrows and I will hand your enemies over to you. Instructions need not make sense to you. Sometimes you will not even know why an instruction was given. Do it anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, our God is in heaven and he does as he pleases. He is a prophetic, mysterious spirit, and it is in our best interest to be so submitted to him that we do not question his instructions. For it is only after obedience that we can stand still and see the salvation of God. There are people listening to me this morning who no longer hear God because they have become serial disobeyers. May God help all of us. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your word. Please, Lord, today we receive the grace and the humility with thanksgiving to receive and obey your instructions. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.